but there are a couple of other crews in there, Jen, who I think will give this a pretty good shake. We've got pair up correctly together and find a good rhythm. They could be going for the medals. So we're often racing in this C2 mixed 500 meter race. It's the under 23 world final and it is the Canadians Jensen and Plumtix who've gone out the hardest. They are really determined to pick up a gold medal in this event to retain their world title. There is an absolute line across the course though amongst the challengers at the moment. It's the Canadians clearly in front. The Spaniards over at the top of the course in second vying there alongside the Ukrainians. Uh, the Chinese have dropped well back so Jen I don't know that they have that rhythm going. The Moldovans also th uh, up there in uh, currently sitting in third spot and the, the crew from Poland also challenging for the lead but the Canadians looking good. Nice rhythm there with uh, Sofia Jensen in the front of the boat. The Ukrainians outside uh, just trying to keep on their tail but it's the Canadians making all the running here as they head down hoping for a second gold medal for the week for the Canadians is Jensen and Plumtex in front. They are putting a bit more distance now in front of the field. The Spaniards over in lane one may be the boat that challenged them. They are really coming through now, the Spaniards. You can see with every stroke, they're making up some ground. It's uh, the Canadians in front, but watch the Spaniards in lane one. Now Poland is also coming through. It's Canada in front. They look like they may be tiring a little bit. And there's a long way to go still. It's Canada in front, Poland getting to them. Spain maybe on the top of the course. Maybe they've snuck through and taken the lead. It's Spain over in lane one, Canada in the middle of the course. Poland also coming through. Spain, Canada, Poland, Canada. It's Canada, I think. Oh, oh. my goodness. Wow. There is three boats there, Canada, Poland and Spain who have crossed as one and I think they've given it to the Spaniards up in lane one what a finish I think they so have close. snuck through to snatch that gold medal it was an incredible finish the Canadians getting so tired they went out so hard early on in the race they had nothing to give in the last 50 meters the Spaniards just over the line, they just built up their pace on the outside of the course. The Poles were also coming through and they've all hit the finish line almost as one. We will wait though for official confirmation. It looked like they gave the gold to the Spaniards, but let's see. It won't be by much. Here we go. So it looks like up on the top. Wow. That is, in that is incredibly close. Spain, maybe, Jen. I think it is the Spanish that just got it. Not by much. And the Canadians, a bit of heartbreak there. And the Poles, I think, with the bronze. But let's have a look. I'll be fascinated to see the margin. Jacomi at the front, she wasn't sure. At the back of the boat, Domingo, he was he was positive. He was very excited about it and, and pretty certain that they got the gold. Let's have a look now. We'll get confirmation here. Whoa, 0 0.04 of a second and then 0 0.09. Look at that. Finish.